Hi everyone. You can tell I got a big smile on my face. You know, it has to be it has to be Friday, right? What else could it be? Even though I don't have a hat on, a fascinator, or a crown, but I do have a new wig on. So yeah, I'm excited about that. But I'm more excited because it's Friday, the best day of the week. It means it's time to have some fun, relax. Don't answer the phone anymore. I know. So anyway, today we are going to be doing our wink wine and we're going to have a little bit of dinner with it. And the wine that we are going to have is another red blend from this company Dime or Dimmy. And I had their Santa Barbara red blend a few weeks ago. Absolutely loved it. I gave it a five. This is another red blend. It's a different one. I'm hoping I'm hoping that it tastes as good as the other one. I am so glad you guys are here because it's time to celebrate and we all know Nancy doesn't like to drink alone. Hi everyone, I'm Dancy. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another Friday night wine diary series. You know, Friday is like my favorite workday week. You know, nothing taken away from the weekend, but the work week. Friday, absolutely, hands down, the best day. So anyway, today we are going to be opening opening up another bottle from my 16th box of wink wine i am so enjoying this subscription um i just kind of sit back and they recommend wines from all over the world for me this box happens to be everything's from california from the napa valley area but i've had wines great wines from south africa the coast of south africa from spain from portugal from italy from france from germany from austria from australia i think i even had one from england so anyway it's just really really fun if it's something that you think you might want to try my link is going to be in the description below that is going to take you to their website going to answer a quick questionnaire they will come up with a whatever it is a curate a box of four wines for you to try if it's something you want to try it costs you $29.95 for your first four bottles shipping is included with that and I get a free bottle of wine thank you very much if it's something you want to stick with after that your next four bottles are going to be $59.95 a month shipping again is free you are free to skip uh, whenever you want you can buy extra bottles you can add on to your your club subscription if you know that you've got a party coming on or something or you want to buy gifts or things for people of wines that you loved you're always able to do that as well and um yeah and of course when you get that first um notification if it's something that you don't want to go ahead and do with you're not under ob any obligation to buy those four bottles so it's just really really fun for me i am really really enjoying the subscription as you can tell from the smile on my face and yeah so anyway i'm gonna have that first video that i did of wink up there because i think you'll probably see i was very excited i'm gonna have a playlist at the end too that's going to show you all the different wines that i've had from wink and just the kind of the fun costumes and things that i've worn with it it's just been so much fun for me so today we are having another red blend um it's from 2018 and i had uh I don't know if you, they pronounce it dime or dimmy, but I had a wine from them a couple of weeks ago. Another one of their red blends, Santa Barbara, hands down. I loved it. It was one of the best red blends I've had in a while. So I'm really anxious to try this one. And of course, we're going to have a little bit of dinner with that. So I got a full pork this time that I bought. I didn't make it, but it's from Four Brothers. And I think that's kind of a local thing to uh, Coburn's grocery store out here. I don't think it's nationwide. But anyway, they have all kinds of barbecue things. So this one was the pulled pork. I've got a big container. It's going to last a while. And I opened up a baggy type holder to, from Timo. My leftovers are going to go in there. And I also bought a different barbecue sauce to put on top. Also from Four Brothers. This one is marvelously maple honey barbecue and dipping sauce so this is probably the third 
focus please so this is probably the fourth uh, different type of barbecue sauce I got from them and I have loved everyone so far so I just thought that would be a fun one to try I've got some frozen Arby's fries that I put on some Hidden Valley Ranch and then I've got a Hawaiian bun here with some of the pork on it and of course sometimes some of the buns stick to the bottom of that thing so I pulled out what was stuck and put a little extra meat on that so excited to try that and again the Arby's fries the seasoned fries just put them in the air fryer for like eight minutes and they were done and uh, my sandwich so I'm looking forward to having that and oh my gosh I'm, I'm hungry yeah can you tell I'm hungry so uh, anyway and yeah my hair is driving me crazy well it's not my hair it's somebody's hair not mine but well it's synthetic I guess it's nobody's hair but yeah loving my new Timu wig alrighty so let's get started let's get this party started shall we so I've got this uh, red blend wine I've got my aerator in here from Barbara Jean so age is just a number with Barbara Jean I think I've mentioned her a few times she's an awesome awesome lady I'm holding the bottle kind of at an awkward position but you know what it's still porous it's still good let's pour a little bit in here shall we Alrighty. Let's put this back over here so it's not in the way. I don't want to knock it over. Alrighty, so I got my Nancy's Wine Diary glass. And it is a deep, deep purple. Uh, it's not translucent at all. I can't see through it. Um, it is coating my glass quite a bit. Uh, so that tells me that it's got a nice alcohol content. I'm going to kind of swirl this around, see if we can figure out what's in here I should have put a bobby pin in my hair or I should have put the fascinator in I know I, I wanted to show off my wig alrighty so we're swirling it around in here getting all those fragrances to kind of relax and wind and come up to the surface and I opened the bottle just before I sat down so it, did, it hasn't really had a chance to breathe but I don't think you have to on some red blends alrighty oh it smells sweet Usually I smell kind of like cherry, but I'm sensing blueberry pie. I know, that's crazy. Um, something tart back here, so maybe cranberry. Not cinnamon, but some kind of baking spice. Maybe strawberry. I don't know, but blueberry is what kind of hit me first. Blueberry pie. Maybe it's time for me to have a blueberry pie. Anyway, cheers everyone. Happy, happy Friday. got a nice texture to it it's heavy but it's not like um it's not smooth it's not velvety like that but it just has a nice rich texture to it I'm just, I got the tartness back here from the cranberry but it's not overpowering I know sometimes I have the cranberry and I say that and then by the time I finish my glass I'm like yeah I don't like it but this it's not a, that tart but I can sense that tartness definitely blueberries are in here it's sweet like blueberry which is weird I'm used to like cherries and plums and things like that in reds but the blueberry is nice so now this kind of sweet fruit in here too I'm thinking it's strawberry and it's not cinnamon but it's something like that anyway just kind of it is a, a little dry up in here but the acidity from the fruits does kick in so your mouth does start to water and just those flavors just kind of come alive back there stop bouncing around but it is a really nice wine it's going to go really nice with my pulled pork anyway cheers gonna have another quick sip mm. it is good I'm also sensing something like a pencil or graphite something like that in there as part of the dryness it might be the tannins it might be just from whatever um, wood that it was um, aged in whatever barrel um, I think it's good. It's not as good as that Santa Barbara that I had. That one was really good, but this is really good. Probably a four instead of a five. Alrighty, so, okay, so it's 2018. It's a red blend. Um, out of the 2,083 people that tasted it and rated it, they gave it a 4.2. It says it's got a light body. 
I thought it was a little bit more medium, but that's okay. It says it's slightly sweet, but maybe that's the blueberry. Like I said, it's got that kind of sweet sense to it. And alcohol is 14.2. Um, tasting notes, blueberry, clove. Yeah, I wouldn't have got the clove. Uh, cranberry and strawberry. So anyway, it's got that kind of like uh, Frank Sinatra song that I kind of had to do last time. So I'm going to kind of I'm going to have to do it again. Excuse me. I do not have a singing voice. But anyway, so it starts. King of the hill, top of the heat, 10, not heat, top of the heat, A number one, start spreading the news. I'm drinking some wine. Yeah, you get the picture, right? So yeah, it's all Frank Sinatra. My mom loved Frank Sinatra. But anyway, um, it says uh, dime is a perfect 10. An easy drinking blend that offers bold fruit flavors. This wine is sure to be a hit with just about everyone. Grapes were picked at optimal ripeness for amazing depth of flavor and texture. And the juice was fermented and aged in a combination of steel for freshness and oak for body and tannin. The resulting wine has a lush velvety texture. I didn't think it was a velvety texture. I knew it was, it does have texture. To me, that was part of the body, but it wasn't velvety like a Merlot or anything like that, in my opinion. It says with ripe berry and spice notes and a touch of sweetness on the finish. This is a surefire winner for your next barbecue. So it says how to serve it. It says cellar temperature. Mine is at room temperature, which right now is summer common. It's more like 70 instead of 63. So yeah, I might have to put it downstairs next time. Um, but it says it pairs well with beef, cheeses, Indian, and barbecue. And they had paired it with a flank steak with green sauce. But again, some of their recipes that they give, is, it's just so many ingredients that it's just for me, it's not worth it for me to go and, and buy all the ingredients. But anyway, I know I'm going to enjoy it with my pulled pork here and my Arby's curly fries. And anyway, I'm just going to have a quick little bite here. And I know sometimes I pause it and yeah, you'd have the sandwich, but I can't help myself sometimes. I have no willpower when it comes to food. I know, you can tell that in my face. Anyway, cheers everyone. Mmm. That barbecue sauce, it's heavy. You got the honey in it. You got that kind of maple in here. It's sweet. It's tangy. I'm going to have a sip, swallow, so I'm not chewing in your face, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I had a few bites. It's absolutely delicious. Love that pulled pork. This, um, the sauce, it marvelous, marvelously maple honey barbecue and dipping sauce. Oh my God. It's tangy. It's sweet. It's, it's heavy. It's really coating the pork. The pork is like, rubbed I think um, and smoked and it's pre-cooked so you just kind of have to heat it in the microwave or you can heat it in a frying pan or whatever but anyway it does have some seasoning to that but it's going to be dry so you do need to put some barbecue sauce on it again I think this is kind of just kind of local to this area but anyway it's really good I've had some the chicken I've had I don't really know what the difference is because they're both all good but they got like pulled brisket oh, they've got some spare ribs that are done in here and did they just have so many different things they even have bratwurst and i am terrible terrible when i was picking up bratwurst i never had bratwurst till i moved out here to minnesota and whenever the guys had a barbecue at work because every now and then on fridays we would have you know guys would go out and get all kinds of food and trimmings and things like that and we'd have a little barbecue and whenever i went to the store and tried to buy my own bratwurst it wasn't the same maybe because it was you know they did it and things are always better when other people cook it maybe but anyway I bought a couple of their kinds of bratwurst and they have all all been good so if you ever see four brothers in your area it is really good so anyway that is going to be it for my wine diaries today I want to thank you guys so much for spending part of your Friday night with me I hope everyone goes out has a lovely weekend a fabulous weekend have a lot of fun summer's coming people are going to be well what they call up north out here and yeah so up north is what 
people go. Yeah, I don't know. But all kinds of cabins and lake activities. And, of course, if you're on the East Coast or the West Coast or Texas or Florida or South Carolina, North Carolina, you're probably headed to the beaches and the mountains, the Smoky Mountains. That would be a great place to go camping. But anyway, whatever you, whatever you do, whether you stay home and binge watch on Hulu or Netflix or catch up on your housework, catch up on your reading, or catch up on your sleep that you missed because you had to work all week, whatever, whatever you do, have a great time. I'm thinking of you guys. I love you all so much. So thank you again for spending time with me. I hope everyone takes care. Stay safe, everyone. Be kind, be happy, enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video.